Hello and welcome to Sweden and the road too. Well, it's the perfect match. Who else would we have other than Freddie Lindgren? Well, you've bought the sunshine today at least. Yeah, it looks uh, really great today and uh, hopefully it will be stay that way all the way through the night. OK, well, qualifying and practice cancelled yesterday, but you know this track very well anyway. So feeling confident as you head into tonight? Yeah, I feel pretty good. My, my form has kind of gone upwards the uh, last couple of weeks and um, I'm feeling ready. Okay, well, talking about your form, you've also collected your 1,000th point as well. You're now on 1,004 uh, points. Uh, so there's a lot of experience behind that form. But uh, a little bit of a tricky start to the season, but sort of, as you said, moving forward now. Yeah, I feel I'm, uh, I'm still in a pretty good position. I'm eight points uh, behind the leaders at the moment. Uh, obviously, I had a, a very bad one in Kursko, but uh, it's all behind me. Uh, now we look forward, try and... Uh, uh, claim those points back and uh, be in contention when it matters uh, in the end. Okay, well for not the ideal start to the season, let's say, it really is not that bad. You're in fourth at the moment and definitely in the mix, in sort of in the chasing of that world championship title. Yeah, I feel so. Uh, it's still my, my goal to be world champion this year and uh, I feel I'm in, in a good position, but this GP will be important for me, I feel. and. Uh, I need to make sure uh, I score many points tonight as well to, to make sure I go into the break with uh, with, the, with a touch of the top. Okay, well, you are here with all of your fans. These fans that were here already are actually just here for you. So do you feel any mounting pressure or is it just nice to know that the fans are behind you? I, of course, it's, uh, it's a little bit of pressure, but for me, it's also nice to, to have all the fans behind me. I know when I... And I go out on the track. They just wanna want me to do well, and you know I'm I can't do more than my absolute best, and that's what I'm doing all the time. I'm out, I'm out on the track. Okay, we'll walk over here. We'll head over to your pit bay because this is sort of uh, your setup. This is where it all goes on through the night. You've also got the the rainbow, uh, the pride rainbow on your sponsorship board. So talk us through that. Yeah, I support uh, the gay community. Uh, my uh, I had my my cousin who came out as a gay uh, a couple of years ago, and I just feel that uh, everyone needs to love whoever they want and uh, it doesn't make them a, a bad person so uh, I support uh, the whole uh, gay community. Which is absolutely amazing but of course the fans are going to be supporting you tonight but as it is the road to let us know what your week's been like where have you been what have you been doing? Well not much we had the Swedish league in, in my home club Eskilstuna on, on the Tuesday after that uh, I drove to Nortelje which is about 40 minutes from Halstavik from here and I stayed there during the week uh, hit some local gym and been out running and trying to get myself fit and ready for the weekend. Okay, and I know the whole family's here, the dog's here as well this weekend. Is that because you're in Sweden? Yeah, he stays in Sweden uh, most of the summer season, so uh, it's not too far for him to go here. Fantastic. All right, thank you so much, Freddie. Enjoy tonight. That, of course, was your road to live with us here in Sweden.